guys, welcome back to another episode of Eat Local here in Chicago, Illinois. That right there, that's Corey Wagner. I'm Sean Ely. We are your hosts. Today, some more burritos. We are on a mission to find the best burritos in the city of Chicago. Let's do it again today. To Combi, this place has only been open like a handful of months. It looks awesome inside. It's supposed to have some delicious, delicious rolled up meats and veggies. And as the sun comes out and blasts my ginger face, let's head to the West Loop slash Fulton Market area to snag them. Let's go. How's it going? Good, good, good. How are you? Good, thank you. so much. Have a good one. Bye guys. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye guys. I'm surprised they didn't grill the burrito after it was assembled. They like did it and I was like, oh, interesting. The flat top's right there. Yeah. Give me a little singe. Oh, we Let's got see. a great view. The train cruising. Oh yeah. This is, this is prime real estate for eating. Good chunk of uh, hot sauce. There's that for you. Thank you. There's this for you. Thank you. There's this for you. Damn, all the treats. Okay, great. 1548 a piece. West Loop prices. Yeah, it's I mean, it's kind of in the middle. It's not cheap, but it's not the most expensive one we And got. right there, we could you could throw a football and hit it, is the nineteen dollar burrito. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I don't even think you need a vortex. I think you could hit that thing with a real football. Remember that <laughs> Michael Vick throwing it out of the uh, stadium? We were growing Michael up. Vick. Yeah, they had John you Elway. Were, you were a kid when Michael Vick was a guy. They had John Elway and then John Michael Elway, Vick. John Elway, baby. Vick. Come on, you, don't I, try to be young. I can't believe I skipped just over people, John just, Elway. Just because we're wearing backwards hats doesn't mean we got youth, bro. We Damn, old, bro. you're right, you're right. Farve up in this mug throwing that th that football. Was Elway way. the first one though? When we were growing up, Elway was probably first in those commercials, I think. I always probably. I I always in my head had it as uh, Brett Favre. But I'm gonna smash John Elway's record with the new Vortex Mega Flight. A new record over 100 yards. Awesome throw. Not too far from that cruise blanca. There it is right there. But here it is for a Corey Wagner second angle. Check this bad boy out. We got the El Pastor burrito on here. They got a flour tortilla. Rice, beans, cabbage, and dry chili salsa. Damn. Right? That looks good. That roasted pork looks real good. Looks so good. They packed this baby in here. That seems well rolled. Really ain't playing no games. And then real quick on the big camera, because we got it, there it is. There's my cross section. Mine, I didn't get as much of a grill as Corey's, but looking good. Tacombi. <laughs> Cheers. Probably saying it wrong. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Absolutely. That meat is marinated so well. It's like they had the spit in there, they carve it off of mm. I mean, it's just insane. There's so much flavor. Wow. We are on a burrito heater. Yeah, we really are. Some great ones. Mm. Okay. Mm. Meat stands out right away. Obvious. Great. Slept down, the tortilla is mm. like soft and bouncy and like really good. It really is. I'm excited to try this, this uh, hot sauce. 100%. Guys, I was completely blown away by the aesthetic and the business prowess going on in there. It was just such a good experience picking these up. I love the open concept, watching everything get made. Beautiful. This is a really red hot sauce, although it smells very chipotle y. Uh oh. As they say, I don't want that smoke. Oh, yeah, too smoky for me. God, you're right, though. Look at that color. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's a gorgeous sauce. We're not big smoke guys in salsa, but that's just personal preference. If you are, bet you'll love it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I went for a big heaping of it too. Yeah, me too. This is one of the smokiest hot sauces I've ever had, actually. Mm. Damn, it's really flavorful too. It's mm -hmm. just very smoky. Wow. <clears throat> I would like to try it. I know it's, it's an extra three bucks, but I kind of want to try it with guac. Yeah. I feel like I love all this flavor. I love like the way it's marinated, but I want something to balance it. Like I would have loved sour cream. I completely agree. But some like cool factor thing to mm -hmm. balance it would be great. Mm -hmm. But this is really freaking good. I, I mean, I honestly, I'm taking this over Cruz Blanca and it's oh. cheaper any mm -hmm. day of the week. Absolutely. Mm. The bar in there was so cool. I will be back here 
in my personal life to drink and eat. Yeah, I'd go just for the aesthetic, honestly. It's just cool looking. That was an instant, like, I will be back moment. I was took two steps in there. Mm, mm, mm. Bro. I like the uh, uh, the last two burrito spots a little bit better. Super Mercado. Yeah. And um, El, El Popo. Yeah. The Crazy Octopus. Uh huh. This one, man, once again, they're all so different. Yep. We got Pastor every time, right? We have. And we've been on a Pastor kick, and the meat's always been great at all these places, but they truly all do everything so differently. Yeah. Are you eating the second half? I'm like debating, because like we have, we're going to go eat a burger <laughs> yeah. right after this. It's so good, it's hard to turn it down. I know, and it's like, this will save decently well. Yeah. I don't know. You want to dig in? Let's just do it. <laughs> it is really good. It's I am so going to use a little bit more of the sauce. I know it's crazy, but when in Rome. You know what? I'm going to try some of our secret sauce. I love that. Mm, mm, we showed mm. this in our number six with cheese Jollibee video last week. Version two of our newest sauce. Dude, I got to join you. What am I going to? Yeah, right. Am I going to leave you out to dry like that? Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. Because not really the, the flavor profile that it like traditionally would go with. Oh, yeah, it's good though. But why not? You live your own life. Add some heat. That for sure. Mm hmm. Oh, baby, I like it. Mm hmm. I like that. Mm, 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 mm. This is another one of those burritos that's growing on me. Like I already liked it. Yeah. But every bite, it's like getting more and more like juicy and moist and like flavorful. It really is. It's like a chili that's aged overnight. Just for me holding it for five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Man, what a cool spot. I know. To design it to look almost old school, but it's a new build is like mm -hmm. I love that. So stoked for these guys for doing this. And I really like that. The root word of this place comes from like a little van, like a little, almost like a taco truck in Mexico City that was purchased in the 60s from this company. Like this all started many, many years ago, but now there's a few locations in the country, like I think they said DC, New York, Chicago. So it's kind of cool, like Chicago got one of these. Is this two words combined? Taco and Combi. Okay, Combi is the van or something? Yeah, C-O-M-B-I. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, we kind of talked about this a little bit. Not a lot of food reviewers are talking about this, and I think it's something that should be talked about. The eating score of particular foods. Burritos can sometimes be messy. Yep. This thing really stayed together. Yep. This is like a 9 out of 10 on eating score. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, all of our recent burritos have been great eaters. They're tightly rolled. It all stays together. Yep. I've seen that mistake happen. Oh, dude, when they fall apart, it's a travesty. I love this. Yeah, I'm very pleased. I'm just so excited that all these burritos have been so different. Yeah. I don't know if it's just because, I mean, these people should let us know. Maybe this is just because I'm like primed on Cruz Blanca and uh, uh, Martinez Supermercado's price. Yeah. I'm not super bothered by the price point. I think it's a little high. I'm not going to be like, I'm not a crazy person. I'm not like, yeah, it's a cheap burrito, dude. 16 bucks. Right. That's a steal. Yeah. It's obviously a very expensive burrito, but it doesn't feel like it's like, Two nuts. The fact that Cruz Blanc is 19 and uh, Martinez Supermercado is 25 or 26 or whatever. So I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe this is a good time to do this. I want. I don't go to Chipotle ever anymore. I was curious how much a like a, a burrito is now in Chicago. I think I looked this up after we talked about this in a video recently. I think you can get out of there like I think it's like nine ten bucks. Yeah, ten dollar burrito. You're right. Okay, so this is five bucks more. <clears throat> Over fifty percent more of the price. Is it worth it? I mean, it just depends on what you want. Especially if you're going there because it's such a cool joint. I spent an extra couple bucks for the atmosphere. It's tricky because Chipotle really doesn't taste like fast food. Right. It really is so freaking good. It's like kind of crazy. I don't like Chipotle's carnitas. Like they're they're like pulled pork to me has like no flavor. That yeah, meat, never that, that meat was pork. insane. I either get uh, chicken or steak. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, good to know. Yeah, I'm impressed. Hey guys, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to Eat Local. We love doing this a couple times a week. To comment with you guys here today, because it's not over when the video ends. Let's chat, let's hang out. We even got a Discord. Um, what is the price of burrito? What should be the price of a burrito be in your mind? Right now, we just talked about Chipotle is about 10 bucks. Um, that was 15. We've had the $25 ones. Like, what is the, uh, just a bang up burrito. What should the price be in 2024? Yeah. Let us know, we'll chat. I know mine. Up. Okay, I'm excited to read it. Yeah. All right, now it's time to 100% all the way down to zero, what you thought of that thing. Can I get a drum roll, please? Thank you so much. Corey, are you ready? I'm ready. Oh! It's like a nine, I'd say it's like a, I'm at like an eight, nine. Mm. So I put my, the last spot at a nine. I think that last spot was a little better. 
and only because we're eating into the car. Yes. If I was involving both the aesthetics Aesthetic. of the last two and like location and 100%. everything, this place would be bumped up a good chunk. But man, pure food, pure everything, it's still a phenomenal burrito. I was like right at a 91, 92. Like it's like of, out of 100. Like wow. if I was like the percentage. I like you I said the last one was a 95, mind you. I think that octopus one. Spot. I think that one wowed me. The more. octopus, the crazy, the crazy octopus. octopus. I think that one wowed me more. I think me too. It was a little way cheaper. Not way cheaper. It was a good little chunk cheaper. It was, yeah. It was 10.50. Yeah. I just edited that video today. And they're not <laughs> this morning. And they're not. Uh, I'm not a genius. I'm not like uh, the Rain Man or whatever. <laughs> they're also not paying West Loop prices. Yeah, for rent. For rent. For rent. Yeah. That's this is so as true. prime as it gets. Next door to the iconic. I've said the word iconic too many times today. J.P. Graggiano's, mm -hmm. which is like a sub. Above, <laughs> it just steals from Jersey Mike's. Really good experience though. Yeah, I think that was tasty as all hell. If I'm in the West Loop, I'm getting a burrito. I, I tell you for sure, I'm going there. I'm not getting Cruz Blancas. Um, I'm finishing yeah. my beer and then coming here and then getting another drink. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, we're gonna get out of here. We appreciate you guys following our food journeys as you do. We've got our own hot sauce and merch and all kinds of stuff amongst our other channels. So thank you for all the support. We love you. We'll see you guys very very soon. What else should we eat? Shoo.